Hello, good morning to you. Oh, we're all over the place already this morning. We have um, Abby and um, and Jenna. Hello, and Ether and Helen and Mandy and Andrea. I'm very good, thank you. Hello, Shelley Jane and Susan. And uh, Brenda's in Kentucky. Hello, Brenda in Kentucky. Hello, Sarah. Sarah Lou, Grace. And uh, Shirley, who have got on Facebook, we have um, Jackie and Janet and Jill and Sarah, morning, and uh, Tracy and Linda and Maud, Linda and other Linda, Olivan, hello, and uh, Lorraine, Helen, hello to you too. Um, uh, cooker in Scotland, apparently it's cooker. It's cool here as well, it's actually quite nice. Um, it's a nice day to go out for a really long walk because we haven't done that all the time it's been warm because it's too hot for the dog in it um hello rosalyn and uh karen hello hello Anne. and linda in june now i'm going to i'm going to use you and abuse you this morning because i need to do some some work on a compilation that's not a compilation um a reissue of um one of my first books which was half yard heaven it's coming up for its um 10th anniversary and 100,000 sales. So to celebrate it, we've actually revamped it. So I've come up with some new projects and I'm remaking some of the older projects, but in more up-to-date fabrics, because of course you can't get those anymore. It's a really old book. Um, so I'm not sure when that's going to be coming out. Might be early next year. So I'm going to make a child's apron. And um, did you have a look on the, was it on the Half Yard Club? They posted, which cover would you prefer? Well, we're going to go for the washing line. But the thing is, with the washing line, it's got loads of projects on it and it's an old book and I don't have the samples anymore. So I've got to make some samples. So I'm making an apron this morning while you're there, just because I need to get some samples made. At least I'm honest. Hello, Mandy, Linda, Christine and Angie. And uh, Kenyaka, that's a nice name, Teresa. And uh, oh, Grace has got the book here. Yeah, there's five, not, not brand new, but improved, shall we say on, on uh, some of the projects that we did then. So, so th a little bit different to the ones that are in there. There's a new peg bag, there's a new storage box, um, a new zipped pouch, a new tote bag. And something else. There's only five, but I can only remember four. Um, and then, as I said, I just need to make up some of the others as well. Leslie's in the garden, hello. Um, Rosina, hello, and Jackie and Dawn. Oh, hi, Irene. Thank you very much. Uh, right, good morning. Put the washing out and guess what? It's rained, really, Daryl. Hope we don't get the rain. Uh, some PJs. Yes, you can spy PJs. These are um, some of the samples that have been made up for uh, my upcoming show, shows on Crate and Craft. So Thursday at seven o'clock in the morning, we are launching a country garden at last. It's here. Um, and these are some of the samples. Now I haven't made these and I need to find out names because uh, I only picked these up the other day, yesterday, day before, um, and they haven't got names on. Anne made this one. She's one of my girls. The apron at the back, can you see that there? Is, um, it's a Janet Clare apron and that's by SJ Stitchery. Need to find out what the S is. I'm thinking maybe Sarah Jane, I don't know. Um, I shall give everybody proper credit where it's due when I find out who made them. Because these were made up by um, ladies who work with the Craft Cotton Company. Um, Jackie made an apron actually, Jackie's one of my girls. That's what Jackie did. So I'm just kind of collecting things. She's embroidered around the top actually, which is really sweet. Um, so she's done a bit of hand embroidery here and it says to plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow. That's what um, Audrey Hepburn saying, isn't that sweet? So that's, um, that's coming up on Thursday. So we're launching it at eight uh, 7 o'clock on Thursday morning. I shall post and then again at 12 o'clock and then it'll be back again if there's any left on Sunday at 7 o'clock in the morning. And then Sunday at 9 o'clock. We've got some new fabric panels for you as well. Um, so with Crate and Craft, they will have pre-cut sizes, but I don't know what they're doing. Um, so normally they do a pack of 10 one metre pieces and a pack of five one metre pieces, or do they do a pack of 10 half metre pieces? And there'll be five quarters and there will be 10 inch squares as well. So I shall let you know near the, nearer the day. Is it Julianne's birthday? Happy birthday. Um, Oh, is it Tracy's birthday as well? A couple of birthdays today. Oh, Cherry's making an orange drizzle. That sounds nice. Um, 
Oh, is there? Yes, yeah, Sarah Jane. Uh, yeah, it's a more common a name than Sarah Joanne, isn't it? Oh, there you go, Sarah. Um, Stolen the summer fair. Oh, good luck, Jennifer. I hope it does really well and make lots of money. So, and it's there. So that's coming up on um, on Thursday. So I should give you more details and let you know what they've got on um, on Wednesday when I see you then. And of course, I'm just looking for my pin cushion. Lots of pin cushion. Um, I shall give credit to those who have made samples for me as well. Uh, seven o'clock. What's the what, 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 what? Oh, I'm gone. You've gone. Hold the line. Uh, what's seven o'clock? Is it at no? No, in the morning, Linda. 7 a.m. and midday on, on Thursday. Hello, Lynn. I've uh, been weird. It has been a chest infection. It's quite frail. Oh, Patricia. Great granddaughter's been in hospital. Oh, no. So I didn't watch Wednesday till late. Better. Than that. Oh, I hope everything's all right. Um, of course, it's going to improve next week for your 45th wedding anniversary because you've got us lot sending positive thoughts to you, Patricia. Are we not? So it's going to be a great week next week. Oh, Sandy's moving house. She's got to pack her sewing stuff. Oh, well. Gloomy and crowdy, cloudy, crowdy in in um, in Kinderhook says Elsie. Oh, it's a shame. Um, right, so I'll do an apron in a second, but I've got newness to show you. And the first thing I want to show you is bag handles. So these have only gone on today, and I want to show you this one particularly because it happens to go so well. If you've already got the um, the kit that we did the small square bag. So this one came with a bamboo handle initially, but you'll still have a pattern, but you won't have a handle. So with this one, where the handle that came with it um, screws through here, I've put D-rings on there, and then the chain strap on the top. We have these, they are very posh, Patricia. I think, are they seven pounds or eight pounds? Can't remember. Brand new on the website, have a look into new arrivals. But on Amazon, they're 10 pounds 99. And they're really sweet. So the um, the tortoise shelly bit, this is the peach pink, is acrylic, but the gold the gold stuff is metal. But it's just a really elegant, very very summery. So yes, Elsie. So if you've just got the kit, you'll be left with the pattern, but no handle when you've used it. Um, and we've got two colours. The other option I've put on the bag there. So remember when we made the. Eden. I used the Eden bag handles on that one a couple of weeks ago. I've simply unclipped the Eden handles and clipped on these. They've got a lobster clasp on them because that bag already had D-rings on it. Um, so it just, it just changed the look of it and made it more, more elegant, maybe a bit more for evening. Um, Bloodwind's just made the bag this week in blue. So again, you've got the pattern. So if you wanted to make a different style, I tell you, we've got a fabric that goes really well with it as well, which is brand new too. We've got two patterns in this one, two prints. So I'd go for the dark one. Let me just let me just get to that. So have a look at pretty fabric for just a second while I just go and get this. Look how well that goes. <laughs> but they both go nicely but look how well that goes. So you imagine this bag made in this fabric with those handles. So you will need to buy two. They don't come in pairs, they're single. But doesn't that just go so well with that fabric? And then, of course, you're going to need a lining as well. So I'm, I'm shopping for you now. So you'll need your handle. You only need one handle if you're going to do the box bag. And then you're going to need a lining. And I would suggest we've got Light Hope. This is the organic cotton, which we've got back in stock again. But another one that I think would go even better is the organic gold, because it really brings out these colours. Of course, we've got the browns or a dark grey or something like that, but these colours, I think, go particularly well together. Gorgeous, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. Really elegant and very different as well, I'm thinking. Blodwin loves the fabric, thank you. 100% cotton, 112 centimetres wide. Just move that out of the way, but let me just take one of those off, actually, because they just unclip. Like that, that's it. And then you can have a look how well they go. So you imagine you've got that, maybe that one. It's designer bag time. And then the flap made with that one. 
and then you're lining with that. There you go, that's your sorted. Hello, Anne in Lake Garda. What's it like in Lake Garda? Um, will it be okay for Father's Day if I make it quick from John the Cat? <laughs> what, a bag? Or, or are you talking to somebody else? I think I'm talking to somebody else. I'm glad you liked it. Oh. Leslie, thank you. Sorry, I've just knocked my bag off. So I'm just going to pop that back on again and put it back behind me because it looks nice there. So again, have a look at that while I'm just whiz back over here and hang that back up again there because we don't want a, a bare spot, do we? Um, morning, Lynn in Tennessee. It's beautiful late in Lake Guard with lots of sunshine and people enjoying the weather. Oh, good. Uh, what's white fabric link? Right, so that's those. We've got some new batiks. Now the elephant batik is back in stock. The large flower batik is back in stock. And it's been so popular, we kind of got the rest of the range for you as well. Can't remember what they're called. But if again, if you look under new arrivals, you'll see all of these here. So, I mean, obviously that's a paisley print. And the bright pink, perfect for summer. And then... Oh, I'm sorry, Shirley. Oh, that's sad. It's the, and I've said it before, it's the best thing and the worst thing, isn't it? It's the best thing because you can choose when they don't suffer anymore, and it's the worst thing because you've chosen. It's, it's horrible times, all thinking of you. Um, I guess watching plans. There you go. So those are they. Those are the four new ones that we have for you. And they're, they're all perfect for this time of year. And if you're not aware with Batik, um, it is double-sided. There's no right or wrong side to it. It's printed with like a, a wax resistant technique, but it just means that the dye goes all the way through the fabric. So it doesn't matter which way you use it. It's not printed on the top. It goes all the way through. Um, hello, Sue in Brisbane in Australia. And now that, and to go with this, how about a brand new, again, organic fabric, this one. This is the... Uh, deep cyan or dark cyan, I can't remember which, which one it's called. Looks nice, doesn't it? Um, and another one of the new ones in the organic, I mean, we brought you navy fabric before, obvs, but navy organic is the first time that we brought you that option. So these are the Make and Believe from the Craft Cotton Company and organic, I've said so many times before, we really do think is the way to go. So uh, we would do as much organic fabric as we possibly can. We've also got, actually, that might go quite nice. This is a new one as well. That goes nice, doesn't it? This is an or another organic, and this is the sky blue new. And that goes really nicely with that one. And I bet it goes with that one as well, actually. Yeah. So again, have a look on the website under the new arrivals. Don't forget, if you're a Half Yard Club member, then um, you get your 10% discount, so don't forget to use your code. And I think that, oh no, it's not all I've got to show you. We're sharing this one, me and Kim, because we both said we want to make something with it. And um, you get rather a lot of fabric, so we've decided to cut them all in half. That will make sense in a moment. Because, whoops, that was noisy. We have chambray, fat quarters, pack of 10 but look at the colors on these i saw it and do you remember i did a a patchwork um zipped pouch um using um quilter's grid where you cut out two inch squares and stick them to the quilter's grid and then sew it from the wrong side so you get perfect points remember that technique then i turned it over on points so that draw diamond shapes i wanted to make something like that with these because they're so pretty Good luck. You get all of these, so it's ten fat quarters all together. But we brought you chambrays before. We brought you printed chambrays. We brought you plain blue chambrays, but not all of. I love this one, but not all of these different colours together. So with the chambray, um, you have two colour threads. You could probably see better on that one. So the warp is in one colour and the weft is in another, and it gives a really lovely, almost a linen type of texture, very rainbow esque, Patricia. Yes. Um, which is, uh, I just think it's lovely. That's, that's reminds me of shirting. 
men's smart shirts made out of that one, perfect. But the whole whole of them all together. But again, we're going to split them because there's a lot of fabric there. There's one, two, three, one meter. One, two, three, one meter, one, two, three, two meters, two and a half meters all together there. Um, so we're going to split all of those in half. I think Kim's going to do some patchwork, something or other. I don't know what the something or other will be, but that's, that's what we thought. So we're going to get a half a fat quarter each. Um, that's all I've got to show you. Okay, I love those. I can imagine we're going to have a few packs of these, just, you know how you buy fabric and you look at it? I love those. And they don't need anything to go with them. Um, but the colours will go with anything, won't they? So that goes really nice with that one. But I wouldn't, I'd just go for all those together and make something out of these because they're just beautiful. Thank you, Elizabeth. I'm glad you like them. Uh, Chambray's in length. No, Linda, we don't. Uh, I think we're out of stock of the blue. Um, we've only got the fat quarters at the moment, but um, no reason why we can't. When we get a bit more room, we're a bit full up at the moment. We're overflowing our offices. Um, will you fight with my hookahs? No, we're going to split half of all of them. So not split the pack, but split you know, take the fat quarter and cut it in half because we're, we're going to patchwork it anyway. So we'll, we'll have a a long eighth, is that? So we'll have we'll just cut each one of those in half. So we've we've each got all of the colours, I reckon. Um, hello, Helene. Nice to have you on board again. Uh, so just I like, I like to fold things neat, don't you? Anyway, hello, Susan. The box bag pattern. Mm, we haven't got the pattern on its own at the moment, I don't think, Angie. Um, I, I'll need to rewrite the instructions. We've got the kits still. I think, I think we've got the blue and the gold, so the handles and everything come with that. But we haven't got the instructions on its own, but I will need to rewrite them because at the moment, um, the instructions are for the handles, the original handles that come with it. So I'd need to rewrite them so that you can use fabric handles or any handle that you like. I shall have a look at that this afternoon and try and get them on for tomorrow. Um, how are you, Alan? I, I, Helen. <laughs> um, making a second King's Coronation cushion. Oh, nice. Using a hot foil pen. So oh, lovely. Um, what's Chris doing? Missed that one. Right. Uh, right, okay, my apron, let me get on with some work. It does look nice though, doesn't it? It does look nice. I shall get on with that later on. When I've taken my dog for a nice long walk, I'll have a look at that. So with the, I haven't got the book to show you, actually. I don't have a Half Yard Heaven book. Um, but this is what I'm going to use to make my apron. The one in the book wasn't lined, uh, basically with the Half Yard books. Everything uses less than half a yard of fabric and everything is really beginner friendly and very easy and very simply explained. So the apron in the book isn't lined and I use um, a tape for the straps, which I am going to do again, but this one I'm going to line. So I'm just going to make it a little bit different. So I'm using some of the fabric from the lemons panel. Um, I'm just going to move that a little bit. That'll do, just so you can see a bit more of that. The book, Leslie, the original book is available all over the place. I think we've got it on the website, Amazon, Search Press, loads of places. The, um, the remake of the book, we're still writing it, so it won't be out until next year. Um, which is why I was saying I'm, I'm going to, we're reshooting the cover and I need lots of projects from it, which I don't have because the book's an old one. So that's why I'm uh, kind of revamping these and doing them a little bit different now. So. Um, message left a few. I haven't got a message from you, Alan. Did you email me? Um, yes, Charles Apron, Helene. Uh, website is getting. Oh, right. Yes, thank you, Laura. Thank you. I shall address that later on. Um, where did you message me, Alan? If the best place to message me is to email the office, which is um, enquiries at debbieshawsewing.com. Um, it's the Half Yard Heaven book, Elsie. I was saying earlier, it's coming up for 
10 years and 100,000 copies sold. So we are celebrating by revamping it, updating it, putting new projects in it and re-releasing it, but it won't be out yet because we're still working on it. So that's that. So these measure 18 inches that way, 15 inches that way. Of course, you can make them any size you like, but we're thinking small people because we've only got half a, half a yard of fabric. Um, so that's why things are this size, but you know, you'll get the idea. I'm going to fold this in half and I've got a lining piece cut to the same size. Again, that's not in the book, but you know, we, we update things, so may well be in the next book. Move that out of the way. And then I'm going to measure six and a quarter inches across the top if I can find a pen to measure with. So that's from the fold in the centre there. And then nine inches down the side and then join those two together. Now, if you're making for a specific person who you know and have with you, then <coughs> be a good idea. <coughs> Gosh, do it, excuse me. Be a good idea to try it on them. Um, <coughs> yes, I have got a rotary cutter, so I'm going to snip that off. So you'll see the way that this is going to fit in just a second. And cut that off there. So that's going to be the finished size of my apron. If you want to make that narrower here, so narrow across the chest, which I think this one may need to be, then measure the width of the chest, half it, so from one side to the other, half it, and then measure that from the center. And you can literally make this any size that you like in that respect. So again, you could make this longer, you could make that narrower. That's entirely up to you. If you wanted to make a toile, a pinny toile, then that would be a good idea too, but you need to have a said child with you. So this one, I'm thinking looks okay like that. Sorry, that was noisy, wasn't it? And I'm measuring now seven inches across the top, and again, this was nine inches down from the top. We do sell the foldable cutting mat, Leslie, that I've just slung on the floor to show you how durable it is. Um, we've only got them in centimetres at the moment, but it, that's the size of it. So it's A2, folds in half to A3, freezes storage, and it has um, a wavy seam down the centre which I think is a very clever idea because if it was a straight line, it would probably be a long one of the lines that you're going to be cutting on regularly, which can encourage the mat to eventually split. Um, but you can again, whoops, <coughs> gosh, excuse me, with the weight, <coughs> with a, the wavy line, that's no, not going to happen. Uh, it, it may be a bit small for John, Laura, depending how tall he is, but, um, <laughs> We've only got half a yard of fabric, so there's only so, so much we can make. Hello, Beatrice in Connecticut. Right. Um, so, same with the strap around the neck. I can't remember the exact measurements from the book, but if we put this around the neck to the top of where the apron comes, maybe be get a little bit of slack, that's the length that you're going to put on the neck. Alternatively, you could put two pieces and tie it at the back. So if you're making this for a child that um, you're not sure of sizes, if you're not with them at the moment, then um, I'd put two ties on there and then just tie a knot at the back. And this is just like a, it's a tape, but it could be a ribbon. And that's going to be so much easier than, um, than actually making the ties, which of course you can do if you want to, but this is just a really quick, simple project. So there's one of those to go around the neck and then two ties to go around the side. So I can't remember the measurements exactly, but I'll give you, I'll give you what I'm doing in just a second. This may not be exactly the same as the book because I don't have the book. You'd think I'd have all of them, wouldn't you? They're probably down in the office, but I haven't got them here. And I'm just gonna turn the iron on while I'm here, because that's a bit crinkly. 
and these measure in at I'm doing 22 inches for the waist tie and my necktie is the same but again you measure yours and make sure they're exactly the size that you want them to be hello Amanda let's pop that down there and I'm just going to give that a quick eye in Uh, rare occasion to watch live. Oh, hello, Jackie. Is it sunny in Twickenham? It's quite nice, actually. It, it does get to the stage where the heat gets a little bit much. Even for me, who loves the heat, it's quite nice to have a break because the weeds have gone mad. I don't know about your garden. We just I need to start pulling up some grass from where it shouldn't be growing. Um, the ribbon, Amanda. No, it's just ribbon. It's just a just a white tape. So nothing special. Hello, Maria in Mid Wales. Oh, thank you, Angie. I'm glad you like watching them. It's just time. We, we don't like the wrinkles, do we? Hey, Bob. Hey, pretty. What are you doing? Just wandered in, had a look around, and wandered out again. That's what she's doing. Right, put that to one side there. Um, oh, the fabric. Now this is just cotton, Amanda. Just cotton. You could laminate it. That might be a nice idea. I'm using, and oh, I'll show you something in a second, um, 12 inches by 15 inches for the pocket. Again, on the on the original one, I didn't line it for some reason, and I put by spine across the top. Um, but this one, I'm just going to fold this in half, and we'll have a big patch pocket on the front, because I thought that looked nice. This is the fabric that I've made a sun visor with. So these are your projects for um, for July, for July the 1st, which is only a couple of weeks, isn't it? So I'm doing a video for this one this afternoon. And the child's one, I showed you this the other day, um, is in two sizes. And that's a cap with a sun protector on the back. And it's got an elasticator bit around the back just to make it nice and snug. And it's all lined and everything, look. But if you wanted to, you could leave the, some, uh, the neck protector off and just make a little cap out of that. So that's, um, there will be a video for that one as well. So you're getting two projects in effect, one for the ladies and one for the kids. Sorry, gents. Um, you could have that for a gent, couldn't you? You might, not, might need to make it a little bit bigger because generally they have big heads. Um, but yeah, there will be videos for both of these as well. So that's going to be your main projects for next month. Um, which will hopefully be just the right time of year when we're all nice and sunny and warm and you're getting ready for your holidays. So anyway, that's what's coming up there. Um, hello, Karen. A bit late, but welcome along. Thank you. Right. Let's do this thing. <laughs> big-headed husbands. Well, Joe, they just generally have big heads. Um, that's not an insult. They just have bigger heads. Hello, Rita. Glad you like them. Um, the peak I have used in both of them are uh, Decaville Light, one layer of Decaville Light. You will need some kind of firm interfacing for that one. And on both of them, I've also used G700, which is a medium weight interfacing for the main part of the cap and for the band that goes around here as well, is what I've used on there. And they're really quick and simple, both of them, to make as well. So I'm joining together the two shorter 12-inch ends, like so. And I'm going to sew all the way around, but leave a turning gap in one side. Um, overcast in Cheshire, says Pauline. Yeah, it is overcast, but it's still nice and warm here. Don't, don't mind a bit of overcast every now and again. Um, <laughs> now, you might, you might need to adjust the size of the, of the cap then for his bald spot, Leslie. Um, right, so again, just going around all three sides with a turning gap in the bottom. What's going on there? That's not gripping for some reason. I'm just going to turn off and on again. I think the feed dogs have gone down for some reason. Well, that's better. Don't know what happened there. Don't forget the turning. Oh, it's raining in Kent, is it? Um, Garden will be pleased though, hey Shirley. Just get ahead. All three gremlins were asleep over and the mum picked them up so I can realize. <laughs> Bet they had fun though, didn't they? 
Now, 4 p.m. on the Half Yard Club ones, Karen. Talking of which, um, Biscor new pincushion, this little thing there, is what we're going to be making in the next sew along, which is on the 24th, which is next Saturday, isn't it? Next Saturday, if that's going to be the sew along. Um, it is a bit, isn't it? Like a, like a golf cap, Gina, yes. Making a child's apron, Carol. Okay, so let's turn this the right side out. Um, so I'm just going to fold in the ends of those. The gingham, by the way, we've got this in lots of colours on the website. It is a poly cotton. So it's nice for um, dressmaking. Um, it's not so good if you want to do anything like patchwork where you need to get some nice sharp creases because with, with it being a poly cotton, it doesn't crease. But with it being for dressmaking, that's perfect because it doesn't crease. Let's just push out the corners. That one. Oh, Laura. Yes, I didn't realise that. I've, um, I'm down at Search Press actually on the 30th. So I'll have a catch up with editors and um, and people then, so we um, go to a party. Search Press have a party every year. Um, so yes, I'll, I'll bring that up. Didn't realise that. Um, it's called The Choir of Long Tales, 35th anniversary concert. Oh, nice, Leslie. Hello, Luz Hales in Florida. I'm glad you like the project, thank you. Um, let's just fold that in there, like that. Alan's hot foiling everything at the moment by the looks of it. I've never used a hot foiling pen. Um, oh, hello, Dorothy. My husband interferes with my time, but I'm hoping to have more help so I can watch life. <laughs> Interfering, big headed husbands, huh? Um, right, then I'm going to top stitch across the top just to finish that off. If you just joined us, Dorothy, I'm not calling your husband big-headed. I was just saying that with the hats that we're making for the Half Yard Club, you may need to increase the size. Because generally men have bigger heads. Not an insult. I think it's a fact. Oh, sorry, I put you on the wrong camera there. I can't see a thing I'm doing. So that's that. But this is going to go in the centre of the outside. Um... So Amanda's dad's birthday is the end of summer. Has anybody got any ideas what she can make for her dad for his birthday? Come on, Alan, what would, what would you like somebody to make you? Um, Amanda says, I feel like I've made everything. I'm very well, thank you very much, Leslie. So I folded the center to crease and fold the center. Again, this is polycotton, so it won't crease. So I can remember what that is, which is there. And let's just place this in the center. I haven't sewn the opening closed because I'll do that as I sew around. So let's hold this in place with a few pins. Oh, it's on the floor. Everything's going on the floor today. Honestly. Okay. So I'll put that in the center. And this one, June's on a, a thumbs up mission again. Here we go. I've only, I forgot. Oh, 300 watching, 49 thumbs up. Well, that's a poor show, isn't it? And let's do that there. I'm making the apron. Oh, really? <laughs> Annabelle says, um, I can't believe this. I'm making the apron from my half yard heaven book in adult size at the moment. Oh, that's a bit spooky, isn't it? like it was meant to be. Okay, so let's um, go back and forth at the top just to secure the edge of the stitch. And we're going to sew close to the edge all the way around. I'm just making sure that the edges of the fabric, when I come to the turning gap, are folded in. And that will sew the opening closed.
It's a little bit far over there. And then it's up to you, but if you want to make a dividing stitch line down the centre, then do that at this point. Um, again, you would have folded in half and got a crease line, otherwise you could just measure where that's going to be. And let's just flatten that out. I didn't make my top. Um, who was that? Sorry. Lynn. No, I didn't make it. I, I wish I had time to do dressmaking. Um, so no, I don't, I don't tend to make my own clothes. Uh, head covers for golf club. That's an idea. Glasses case. Yes. Pre sewing presents for a man. What would you make? Or, or if you are a man, what would you want? Oh, a magazine subscription. That's a nice present. You could have a half yard club subscription. That would be a nice. Oh, my favourite cup. Thank you. Okay. Morning, everybody. Don't ask them if they want anything. That's good. It's my room. Uh, why did the chicken cross the road? <sighs> The old ones are the old ones, aren't they? Because Bobbin was coming the other way. Thank you. That was a joke. Oh, was that a joke? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I thought jokes were funny. <laughs> I broke my very favourite cup yesterday, so I've only got my second favourite one back. Everyone says morning! <laughs> Gone. Um, so I've, I've only got one cup that I like. I didn't like that pink one. I don't like that one. Very fussy about my cups, you know. He's gone again now. He's, 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 he's come and he's left me coffee and he's gone again. Um, so we have that. Quite sweet, isn't it? So I'm thinking that's probably going to fit about a three-year-old. But same technique, no matter what size you're making. Let's put the next strap on first of all. So facing inwards. And I'm going to put this a tadge over a quarter of an inch from the top corner here. So when I use my quarter of an inch seam allowance, that's going to sit very nicely. Uh, a plain crossbody bag for glasses, phone, small change purse, and that is a good... You're full of them, aren't you? I should be making notes of these myself, you know. Um, Patricia only likes bone china. Well, that's a bit posh, Patricia. It's the shape of the cup. I like, it. I like a wide top to my cups. Um, that's going to go there. And, uh, and again, I'm only using tape, so I don't, I'm not hemming or anything. This doesn't fray. That's going to go at the side there. Will be a separate video. Not for this one, Amanda, I'm afraid. Not at the moment, anyway, because I'm, um, I'm busy filming for the rest of the weekend um, for the Half Yard Club. So time again, time again. Um, hello, Jennifer. First time on the live stream. Welcome along. Anybody else new? Anybody else not commented before? I know we get an awful lot of people who um, who watch but don't comment. So maybe maybe if today's the day. Today's the day we'll have a comment from you. Just to say hello, maybe. Um, right, that's that. And. A tadge. That is a very technical uh, sewing term, actually, Diane. Tudge. A tad shorter. I just need to move that down a little bit away from the corner. Made it a little bit too high. Any update on the restock of the PVC? Yes, Maxine. We have PVC. We need to get it cut. So hopefully um, it'll be back again tomorrow. So it is in the building. We just need to get get somebody to come in and cut it. Oh, hello, Jen, how are you? I hope here in the glossy of turns in Debbie's Ninja, <laughs> a tag. Is it a T-A-J or is it a T-A-D-G-E? I don't even know how to spell it. I don't know. Right, I'm going to pop these inside the pockets just to keep them out of the way. Uh, Annabelle, so two pieces of fabric together for the apron and top stitched all the way round. I was then trying to mitre the corners, which I've been finding quite tricky. Um, for the apron top. Let's have a look at that when I put this together, if I can find some binding. That's all right. We'll have a look. 
The large ba box bag on YouTube is great for a man's toiletries. That's a nice idea. Oh, out right, of that watch material, that's quite a steampunk, wasn't it? That's a nice idea, Laura. Um, oh, good, Liana, you've got your letter. So have you, have you sorted everything out? Are you now a member of the Half Yard Club? So let's pop these right sides together. And there are two ways you can do this. And um, I'm going to sew all the way around and leave a turning gap maybe in one side. If I was making an adult apron or one for a larger child, then I wouldn't sew all the way around because the bigger it is, it's like with the pair of curtains, you wouldn't put the lining sewn in all the way around all four sides because the bigger the fabric, the more chance it is that it's not perfect and it's going to buckle or it'll go wavy. Um, so I would hem the bottom of both pieces of the lining and the outer fabrics before I sewed them together and then just sew around the top and leave the bottom open. But with a smaller item like this, then it's not going to move around. So I think we're going to be absolutely fine. So I'm just going to go all the way around the edge. And I'm using a quarter of an inch seam allowance. It's not particularly important until you get to where we fit the straps at the top. Um, because again, with the next strap, I wanted it to sit just inside. Um, I want the strap to sit just inside the seam. Okay, back down this side. So with a smaller piece like this, you can make sure everything's flat. So less likelihood of any kind of twisting, as you would do if it was a, a larger piece of fabric. Down the end. So again, when I'm coming up to the corner, the seam here should be just at the side of the tape. So we can always go back and unpick if necessary later on, but that's the idea. And that one. And back down, we just keep sewing around. Uh, tape like this while watching the live stream. Oh, nice, Jennifer. Um, oh, Rita, I'm glad you like it. Do you have any idea when you will have the colours of the small striped denim bag behind me in stock? This one? I'm not sure, Irene, to be honest, because that's one of the fabrics that comes from a company that we use in the Netherlands, and they take an age to deliver anything. So I shall have to have a word with my daughter. Um, and see if she's ordered it and how long it's going to be. Um, Alan, if you want a full bolt of fabric, you order 10 metres. Most of the bolts are in 10 metres. If you try and order 10 metres and it won't let you, it's because the bolts have already been cut into. So it'll only allow you to order however much is on there. Depending on what fabric you want, some bolts are 7, 7.5 metres, some are 12 metres. And of course, some of the fabric comes on rolls, which can be up to 25 metres. So it just uh, d depends which one you want. But if you want to message me, so email me, um, we've got new phones and everything at work, so if we're not picking up any messages off the old answering system, if, if that was how you tried to get in touch. Uh, but if that's what it was about, email me or email the team, and that would be the easiest way to get hold of us. Uh, Kim to make some talk. She's rather busy, Elizabeth. So I'm just turning this the right side out. She's, um, she's got a book to write. She's designing her third range of fabric at the moment. She's going to be doing a top for the Half Yard Club next year as well. Um, it's the maths involved. So, oh, sorry, I've just gone back a bit. So, on the sewing bee what? On the sewing bee what? They made zero away, so I didn't see that. Uh, Leslie. Uh, and the same be they made zero waste pants. Would you be able to do a tutorial on them? I've never made them. Never made them, Leslie. I don't watch sewing bees, so I don't, I don't know what they are. I can have a look. Um, didn't they use a pattern for pants? I would have thought they'd need a pattern. She sent to a couple of young girls, and yesterday they went home with aprons. Oh, nice. Using the Charles apron from Half Your, Half Your Gifts. Oh, that's the semicircular one, isn't it? It's raining. Oh, so much for going for a nice long walk then. Can't take the dog out in the rain. Um, 
Right, Kim's strawberry fabric being launched. Laura, it, um, we're, we're hoping to get it on pre-order. Um, it is launching on Create and Craft um, on the 6th of July, I think. I need to get the um, the schedule amended on the half yard clock to put the date back because it's not in the country yet. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the 6th of July, so we'll be getting it around about the same time. And the straps is just tape, surely. Uh, it is cotton tape, could be ribbon. I just happened to have that because I wanted white and it was the only thing I'd got that was white. So on the corners here, you can see the strap sits really neatly up against the seam. Um, if the seam allowance was any bigger or the strap was too far over, you'd have a little crease in the top and we didn't want that. And placemats with pockets for cutlery, we did want those on Half Your Club, did we not? All right, so let's pull this out. And then we'll give that a press and then we'll top stitch all around it. Um, morning, Geraldine. The only pattern was the pocket, which was cut out to make the crotch. Oh, right, OK. I can, I can have a look, but um, again, not, not something I've ever made before. So I, don't, I think you might be better off watching them do it than, than me have a go at something I've not done before. Um, right, so let's just press around here. And back down this side. I presume sewing bees on catch-up or something, isn't it? So I don't, not something I normally watch. Just fold in the turning gap, then I'm going to top stitch all the way around this. Oh, it is raining. Oh, what a shame. I was going to do the garden. I was going to go for a walk. We were actually going to have a drive out to the woods so I could have a walk around somewhere a little bit different. And I was planning on having a lovely day outside today when I finish filming. Uh, Templates of the right size from Britain. Yes, Leanna, they are all the right size. There is no increase by 200% or anything like that. They're all the right size. There should be a, a little guide box as well, just to make sure that you're printing off to the same size as we've designed them for. Right, so let's do that. I'm just snipping away loose threads and then we'll sew all the way around. Uh, it's some maths we need to explain. I could, I'll have a look, Sarah, but like I said, I've not, I've not seen it and I've not done them before, so I'll, I can, I'll try and have a look. I don't know when, but I'll try and have a look. It won't be for a few weeks if I do get around to doing it, I'm afraid. The schedule's pretty full. I thought I'd sewn over the strap then. Uh, I can lengthen the stitch a little bit actually. Let's go up to a 2.6. And literally just sew it in. I don't know if I'd make my own pants, to be honest. Uh, they made tops from tote bags. Oh, did they? That's interesting. Tote bags from tops, I've heard of before, but not tops from tote bags. I thought it was just dressmaking. Get shit I'm doing there. So if you've got any fancy stitches on your sewing machines, of course you can use those here as well. Depends what kind of fabric you've got, I suppose. Fancy stitches wouldn't really stand out too much against this fabric. Why are you going slow? And that, um, they're no ways pants and not knickers pants. Oh, they're trousers. No ways, oh, they're trousers. Oh, right. Why are they calling them pants then? Because they've called them pants in America and we're not in America. So why would they call them pants? Odd. Anyway, I'm done on that. Um, one final press maybe, so little ties around the side there, um, ever so simple, ever so easy. Again, if you're not sure of sizes, then either make that a lot longer so you can tie a knot in it, um, or use two pieces of, um, of tape so that you can tie it at the back, 
and of course you can make the waist ties any size that you like as well but I think that's really sweet very quick and of course very useful and again if you wanted to laminate that if it's maybe for painting or you just want something to wipe clean then that would be an option for you to do that too so that's that all done easy isn't it easy when you know how to snip off thread so this is going to be on the cover of my next half yard heaven book there we go okay uh the pretty dress over your right shoulder no gina that is a dress that i made for me to showcase my new fabric range which is launching on crate and craft on thursday at seven o'clock in the morning um it's the same dress pattern actually that she made a a christmas dress out of it is simplicity 125a and this is the large which fits one to two years which is very clever is Anne which is an amazing dressmaker but we've had um Jeannie's uh, made a romper suit Leslie made a romper suit as well actually what else have we got in the pajama set and that is a Janet Clare apron uh, we've got bags we've got a beautiful quilt that Janice made I put the picture on Facebook of that one so lots of ideas for you what you're going to make with them as well um, Odie coat's a good idea. Yes, and I think I think that's how you spell it, Rita. Um, lovely Island. Don't get upset if they don't read out your emails, though, because we get inundated, and not all the producers send down all of the emails. They just kind of pick them out randomly and send them down. So yes, it'd be really nice if you emailed in. Thank you, but um, do be warned, not everybody's a red. They read a lot of yours out though, I have noticed that. You do get a lot read out. Um, right. Fabric's lovely for it, isn't it, Sarah? It's a, it's a very good apron fabric. And again, the gingham is a, um, it's a poly cotton, so that's nice for dressmaking as well. Okay, I'm going to go. What time is it? Oh, we're a little bit early. Should we have a chat for a bit? Don't have to go straight away. Just, um, I need to do my filming for this one. I'm going to make it in the B fabric. Um, for the filming and I, I like I like visors because I wouldn't normally wear a hat because I get too hot in them but even when you've got your sunglasses on I, I, I tend to, I'm doing this when I'm reading or anything so that was a, a very selfish project I thought uh, Amanda it is it's a gel eau de coat I haven't got any here we do sell it on the website it's in a tub and it comes with um, a spreader which is like a plastic credit card and you scoop it out onto the spreader and literally spread it over the fabric and it just spread it out till it's even um, and if you give it one coat leave it to dry goes a little bit shiny the colors of your fabric really pop and um, it's wiped clean I think three coats is actually waterproof so if you want to waterproof something, I'd put the eau de coat on after you've finished sewing it because, of course, if you put any kind of laminate onto a fabric and then sew through it, it's not going to be waterproof because you've got holes in it where your needle's been. But if it's an apron that you want to put eau de coat on, you simply spread it on, spread it on the fabric before you sew it and then use the same techniques as you would do if you're sewing a laminate fabric. So um, maybe a non-stick foot on your sewing machine would be helpful there. Um, yeah, it's only about an hour, Dara. It just dry really quickly. Thin, thin layers. The thinner the layers, the, the quicker it's going to dry. Um, hello, Pat. Welcome along. Been quiet on here for a while. Enjoying the live. Great. Uh, jolly good. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Iron's going off, Laura. Just switching on. Uh, the stiffener in the peak, I have used Decaville Light, which I don't think I've got any to show you, but it will be in the video. There will be videos of this one. Let me just have a rummage. Oh, there we go. That's it. Oh, that's a that's handy because I've run out of it. I didn't know that was in there. Um, so this is what I've used. It's the shiny side is fusible. I don't know if you can see that. And then there's a matte side. So I've only used it on on one side, and it's nice and soft and easy to sew through. But it gives a nice shape to the peak as well. And I've used it on the peak, on the child's cap as well. I didn't want anything too stiff. Um, like a Decaville Heavy, or you could use a, um, a Pelmet Stiffener, but it makes it very stiff. And both of these have the peak sewn right sides together and then turned through. 
So turning things through, although you turn it through a big gap, to be fair, but when you're turning things through um, and it's very stiff, it can be a little bit tricky. So that's why I've used this one. But it's easy to sew through as well, although you don't actually sew through it because you're going to cut the peak shapes out of the Decaville and then cut the fabric to your seam allowance bigger all the way around. So that you're not actually sewing through this, but it's, it's just really easy to sew through. Um, could Maddie's new dress be upsized to fit a two-year-old? Um, you can upsize it, Irene, but I don't know what sizes that would be um, because each of the panels are designed to form like a, it, it's not a flat circle, it's, it's a slight cone shape. Um, so you could increase the sizes of those, but I don't know without actually doing it how much you'd have to increase them for to, to fit said two-year-old. If you can measure the chest and then work backwards from there would be, a, would be an idea. Um, so I don't see why you couldn't do that. Oh, and then you'd have to increase the size of the top as well. Don't know how you do it, Irene. I would make a toile, trial and error. Let me get her. Oh, no, she's tied up. Not, not, not as tight. She's tied to a swing over there still. Um, because at the moment, where all the panels meet the top, they fit perfectly inside the bodies. So if you start increasing sizes, I'm not sure how that's going to affect it. That's a lot of maths to work out, Irene. It'll take me ages to do. Hello, Robin in Kansas. Um, it was raining where you live. Just got the washing and umbrellas down just before it started to rain. Yeah, it stopped again now. I'm hoping that's going to be. I don't mind a little bit of a downpour, just the lawn good. Um, oh, June's going to be 60 on Tuesday, and she was only 20 last year. I'm like that with the kids. My eldest is 42, and he was only five last year. Um, that's nice of you, Alan. Thank you. So, happy birthday for Tuesday, June. Anyway, I've got a thumbs up for June. For Tuesday. Heads up, everyone. Oh, so, oh, 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 Everyone says happy birthday. Do you sell the O-decoded fabric? Do you iron? No, Laura, it just dries. It just dries. Just leave it. Um, and don't iron it because um, it's like any kind of laminate. It's going to melt because it's a, it's a plasticky kind of finish to it. Um, Yes, Karen, there is a li I should share it on my Facebook page, actually. If you go to the Half Yard Sewing Club Facebook page, they always, um, every month, they'll put a list of, of where, I, where I'm going and when the lives are and what time they are and what time the show's on Crate and Craft are and all that kind of thing. Um, Andrew, we do, have a look back. With the Odie coat, you spread it on. You, you can buy iron-on um, laminate as well, which is, I can't remember what it's called. What's that one called? A plastic sheet that you iron on, but use a pressing cloth because if you iron directly onto it, you'll melt it. Oh, what's it called? Lammy Fix. We don't sell that one. Um, lots of happy birthdays for June coming on. Fabric Coat, is that another one? Not heard of that one. Yeah, Lammy Fix, that's the one. Joe, oh, yeah, right. OK, so I hope you like that. I need to make a pair of slippers as well. I might, I might do that on Wednesday. <laughs> I might just use you for all these lives to keep prepping shows and making samples for books and stuff. So my, my knot wasn't in the centre. You've got, you've got to do it neat, haven't you? Um, I would say, Solveig, that that's going to fit around about a three-year-old. It's a tiny one. But again, it was for half yard heaven, so we're only using half a yard of fabric. But if you measure your child, you need to measure from from oh sorry my mic across chest here and then just down to the waist, and that's the only measurement you need. And of course the length as well. So it's quite easy to adjust the size. It's a really easy project. Um, right, last day of the holiday. Oh oh really? Um, I think you said three years. So I don't, I don't, I don't know what this. Did your brain hurt? With all you have to do in your appointments. You have to, I have to write everything down, Irene. I haven't not turned up <laughs> for anywhere. Did go over to um, Craft Cotton in Manchester and got stuck in the most horrendous traffic on Thursday. Seven and a half hours in the car all day Thursday. Um, but now I do need to write things down because I, I do forget. I have two whiteboards in my office. One with a, a, a day by day 
what I'm doing every day. And then on the other side, it's deadlines. So deadlines for books that are coming up and deadlines for projects for the Half Yard Club. So that's, that's neat, what I need to do. Then we've got another whiteboard where we put all of the create and craft shows in there and all of the um, the products and things that we need to get ready by which day. So I am surrounded by do this, do this, do this. And if I'm not, and I've got my book, of course, that Sarah bought me. Um, and if I don't write everything then, and I, I do forget, I completely forget. Uh, PA. I know when I'm rich, Sarah, I'll have a PA. <laughs> uh, I wonder if anyone has ever done that with fabric and lami a laminator. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. All right, then I'm going to do some filming for this um, this cap. Hopefully, the weather will pick up a little bit, and I can take my dog out for a walk because she must be urgent. Hasn't been out for days. I shall see you Wednesday at four o'clock. Um, Patricia has put everything on the cut. I know. Uh, the round cushion cover on your whiteboard. No, Laura, it was in my book. It's in my book. Uh, laminated cross stitch bookmarks. That's a nice idea. Um, anyway, so again, Wednesday, four o'clock, and Thursday morning, seven o'clock in the morning, we'll be launching the fabric. It is available for pre order on the website. Um, and it's the first time actually we've done a pre order where payment isn't taken until we've actually got it here. All of the pre-orders normally are set up so that the payment goes straight away. Um, so if you have ordered it, and a lot of you have ordered the pre-orders, I'm hoping it's going to be the 26th, so week on Monday. I'm hoping it's going to be here. It only, um, I know, Mary, I just need to get around to designing it. Um, it arrived in the docks yesterday, so it's just got to make its way to Manchester and then be packed and then make its way back down here again. So I'm hoping it's going to be here on the 26th. So just to warn you, as soon as it's here, your payment's going to be taken for it. If you wanted to pre-order now, then you can do. Have a look on the website. And um, they are all individually, you can have as many metres as you like, or we do have some packs of one metre pieces put together as well. And the fabrics on Create and Craft, they normally do a 10 half metre pack and five one metre packs. I'm not sure if they're doing the same again. There will be 10 inch squares and fat quarters available as well. Uh, the lovely Christmas panel. What, what lovely Christmas panel, Andrea? This lovely Christmas panel. This one. Uh, oh, gosh, that was loud. I have made a quilt with this. I should have brought it to show you. I'll show you on Wednesday. This is going to be next Sunday. So not tomorrow, the Sunday after. And literally all I've done, you do get backing fabric with it. So this is going to be on Create and Craft. You'll have one and a quarter metres of extra wide sky blue to go with it. So all you need to do is to sew the two pieces together with wadding in the middle. And I used H20 wadding. And then literally I've top stitched around all of the shapes and it looks like a patched quilt. And then I put bias binding all around the edge. I shall show you that on Wednesday. I don't know what price they're doing it. Um, be about 30 pounds, I suppose. I don't know. But yes, that's going to be a week on Sunday. So that's the 25th at nine o'clock in the morning. There will be, because it's a Christmas weekend. Um, so there will be, I'm hoping, another Christmas panel, uh, which I've painted. But we haven't got it yet, so I'm hoping it's going to be here in time. It's huge, Andrea. It's really not. And of course, you don't have to. I've, I've sent this out to a couple of my girls um, to make cushion covers and things with. So you could do a quilt. You bought two and then matching cushion covers for the bed. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Um, but I mean, tote bags, uh, uh, there's so many things you can make with it. It's, it's so pretty. And the nice thing is, it's not particularly Christmassy. It's wintry, I think, because of the colours. Um, and it does look a little bit like snow, but it's not just for Christmas. Hmm? Gorgeous, isn't it? Gorgeous. Anyway, that's coming up next week. Um, hello, Margie in Texas. Yeah, we're just about to go now, but nice that you've caught the end of us and said hello anyway. Really appreciate that. Um, yeah, see you on Wednesday. Uh, Olive, thank you. And you, Helen, at four o'clock. And then again, Thursday, Create and Craft. Saturday, sat next Saturday, four o'clock, it's a sew along, which would be, again, the little pin cushion, the Biscore new pin cushion, which I think, Leanna, you've mentioned that before. There's one of those actually in this Half Yard Club book as well. And um, then next Sunday again for this one, Laura wants the panels measuring. 
drop that ruler on the floor. Let's take that here. I hope you want it in inches because I haven't got a centimetre ruler with me. Uh, 12 inches. 12 inches square for the big ones, Laura. And the little ones are 8 inches. And then you've got a rectangle there which is 4 by 8. So it's square, square, and then two rectangles to make up the panels. Um, and again, just to show you the fabric that comes with it is the sky blue one, which I think looks really beautiful. But, oh, well, you know what you know I'm like with matching fabrics. I love matching the fabric. That goes really nicely. And these are the organics again. The rust goes really nicely too, if you wanted to go for a different colour. Um, I, I hope so, Chris. What's it like where you are? Just, I just really wanted to go for a really long walk. And anyway, we'll see. Anyway, I'm rambling on, talking about nothing particular. So I'm going to go and get some work done. I shall see you all again Wednesday. So thank you for joining me today, and do enjoy the rest of your weekend. See you soon. <laughs>